Hello and welcome to Wheels on the Bike. I'm Agnieszka. This is a channel about bicycle commuting and bicycle touring and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you my thoughts on the Arkel Orca 35 liter panniers. I've ridden with these bags for over a thousand kilometers. I've taken them on two self-supported tours. I've also used them as part of my cycle commuting setup and I've, uh, I have some thoughts on them. There are some pros and there are some cons and I would like to share them with you in this video. So if you're interested, keep watching. These particular panniers have a 35 liter capacity and that means that one bag has a 17 and a half liter capacity. If you want to see what is inside this panny, this is a pretty, fully, pretty much fully loaded pannier, then keep watching. I'm going to be doing a what's inside my pannier reveal later on in the video. On the inside, right at the bottom, you have a removable plastic cradle. In addition, you have a plastic backing and both of these allow the panny to stand unsupported on its own when it's empty. This is a top loading panny, which means that there's only one opening to the contents and that is from the top. One thing that you will find inside of the panny is a sleeve. This sleeve has two pockets. One is zippered, the other one is open. Uh, the sleeve unfortunately isn't big enough to accommodate a laptop but will work fine for a tablet or any other smaller electronic items. This is a roll top pannier which means that to close it you roll down the top and you use the clasps on the side to secure everything. As well you just cinch, cinch this down to, to make sure everything is stored securely. Something else that you can see on the side here is an attachment point. I typically have a blinking light attached here when I'm on tour. Additionally, we have some reflective components. This is an Arkel logo. These reflective components are available on both sides of the pannier as well as on the front. On the front here, you will see um, a small pocket with a zipper. Um, to be frank, I'm not a big fan of this pocket. When a pannier is fully loaded as this one is, this pocket for me becomes almost unusable. I mean, you can put in very flat items inside, but I hardly ever use this pocket when the pannier is fully loaded like, like this one is. Okay, let's move on to the back of the pannier because this is where the magic happens. This is Arkel's cam lock system. The rails are aluminum, the hooks are aluminum, the cams themselves are plastic. You open and close the cams by pulling on the handle and that is what secures it on a bicycle rack. An important piece to point out about the cam lock system is that it is fully adjustable. So you can adjust the cord by tying um, a knot on it just like you see I have done. Additionally you can adjust the placement of the hooks themselves by releasing uh, the screws at the bottom end and moving the hooks to ensure that they have a good fit on your rack. An additional feature that adds to the robustness of this pannier is this plastic piece right here at the bottom and this creates a barrier between the pannier and the rack. Okay, let's address some of the cons of these panniers. For one, they are expensive. When you buy these, you are making an investment. Having said that, Arkel does offer a lifetime warranty. Yes, you heard that right, a lifetime warranty on their products. Additionally, when you buy anything from Arkel, you're getting fantastic support from, from their customer service team. The one feature that I wish this, these bags had was, um, an air release valve because what happens when you roll the top of the panny oftentimes you get an air bubble inside and then you have to open the top up again and fold it down again so I wish there was an air release um, valve somewhere here the third thing I wish this these bags had was a removable sleeve system so that inside pocket that is currently permanently there I wish I had an option to remove it Having said that, the bags are fantastic. I have used them, I have ridden in them in really, really hot weather, so 40, 40 degrees Celsius plus, nothing warped, nothing um, broke, nothing got twisted. The panniers performed as they should. Additionally, I've ridden in them in really pouring rain. On the, on the last bicycle tour, I had two days where it just poured and Having that peace of mind that the contents of your panniers are not going to get soaked was something that I really enjoyed. So you certainly get what you pay for with these bags. 
So you may be asking yourself, what fits inside a 17 and a half liter penny? So let's look at what I was able to fit in my in one of these pennies. This is, these are some of the items that I took with me on tour. So let's go over them. I have a first aid kit. <laughs> Hello. I have a sleeping mat. Nice table. <laughs> yeah, a sink. A tarp. A pillow. Tent with poles. Ground sheet. A sleeping bag. And lastly, tent poles. So all of that fit in my 17 and a half liter pannier. And that's all I have in terms of my thoughts on the Arkel Orca 35 liter panniers. If you ride with these panniers yourself, let us know what you think about them. What do you like? What do you dislike? If you have any questions about these panniers, let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to address your questions. This is a brand new channel, so please consider sharing, liking, subscribing, doing all the YouTube things. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Attaching the panniers to the bike is pretty simple. Step number one is I just hook, hook that little hook on, um, on an attachment point here. I raise the handle to open the cams and then I secure the hooks on the rack itself. Handle down, cams are now securely attached and the panny is not moving. So everything is pretty robust and attached as it should be. And to take the panny off, I do everything in reverse. Pull the handle up, that opens up the cams. Take the panny off the rack and then I unhook the little hook here. And that's that.